how is everybody? What the hell? Saturday. It's nice here today. It's going to rain tomorrow. Let's wait until a few people come on and we'll get going here. We're going to make this together for the first time ever. I think it's going to be good. I know some people were interested, so I'm going to give it some time. So let's shoot the shit <clears throat> until we wait until some people come on here. Good morning, Kathy. Well, afternoon now. It's 1.20 here in New Jersey. Um, Joey and Avery are riding their bikes. I wonder if they're coming around yet. Let's go look while we're waiting. Oh, they're back. They just got back from riding their bikes. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Say hi. hi. Did you have fun on your bike ride? We're going to get cooking in a minute when a few people come on here. I want my donut now. Oh, you want your donut? See that, people? And I did not lick it. Go ahead. You can eat your donut. So we're going to make this rice for the first time ever. Um, I don't make my own cauliflower rice. I buy the frozen green giant kind because I find it much easier. I'm using the medley today. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it's in here somewhere. I buy the frozen one and I figured the medley would be good. So that's the one I'm using today. And I microwaved it for five and a half minutes and then I did strain it because I don't want a lot of the liquid. So you'll see it here. I strained it out. Some of the liquid out of here. I have my meatballs going already in my crock pot for the pizza. I wanted to do that earlier, but Grandma and my aunt were here, so I made the meatballs, and they're going to sit in here for, for a few hours. So later on today, I'm going to come back and do the meatball fathead pizza. But for now, we're going to try to do Spanish cauliflower rice. Now, I've never made it. I like it, but I've never made it, so we're going to give it a shot. Right now in my pan, I have my garlic, finely chopped onion, and a scallion because it was going to go bad, so I figured why not. And a little bit of olive oil. I have that in my pan right now, so let's flip you around. And I asked some people that have made it in the past, like, what do you do? Do you have any pointers? So I have that in here, and also I have some of my sauce. One of my members said she doesn't use the tomato paste. She uses sauce, and I have the sauce that we're going to do for the pizza. So I took two spoonfuls of that and threw that in there. So we're going to see how it comes out. So now I'm also using, now you got to bear with me, you're back on the coffee container. So wait for it. Ta-da! Okay. I'm also using Hunt's Fire Roasted Garlic Tomatoes. I really like the fire roasted. I like it in my chili. I like it in soups. I, I really like the fire roasted, so that's what I'm going to use. So now that I have the garlic, the onion, and my scallions in here cooked down a little bit, I'm going to add my tomatoes. And I'm just basing this off a recipe I read. Like, I, like you guys know, I see things and I make it my own. So I'm going to wing it and we're going to see what happens. Hi, Miss Candy. How are you? I hope you're okay. My Katie, hashtag Phillips, replay is watching. Um, Katie, by the way, I think I'm going to make those coconut macaroons for you, but I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm tired. We cleaned, we vacuumed, Grandma came over, my back hurts. I, I really do just want to relax. So after the pizza, I think we're just going to chill out. We're going to have a family day. We're going to hang out in the yard. Maybe it's beautiful out. Tomorrow's going to suck. It's going to rain. So, oh, see, Avery said it's going to suck. So tomorrow I think I'll do your coconut macaroons, okay? But I'm doing them for you. You will see them tomorrow. Joy's watching. Kathy's watching. Brett's watching. I'm going to let this simmer down a little bit because I don't want... I don't want it too watery. So I threw my fire roasted tomatoes in here with our onions and our garlic and our olive oil. And I'm just going to let it simmer for a minute. How's these comments going? Can someone comment? I want to see if it's doing that thing again. I know Candy had a problem where people would comment and she couldn't see it. So we have 40 people watching. Someone say holler. Holler. Avery said it. <laughs> there we go. We have a nice simmer going on here. Daddy. And um, from what the recipe said, it has cumin and paprika. 
and cilantro. I don't have cilantro and I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put some parsley in it. It's not going to hurt, right? We'll see what happens. Let's see. No, nothing. No, are you all commenting? Because I'm not seeing it. Oh, there they are. Hi, Dina. Hi, Sherry. All right, so we have a little bit of bubbly going on here. I did use my bucket of garlic. You got that right, Ellen. I love my garlic. Let's see how it looks here. See? So now I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And I'm going to go get our cauliflower rice. Remember, I used the frozen green giant cauliflower medley. And I did strain it. So I'm going to bring this over and throw it right in there. Let's see. It looks good. It smells good. Yes, Katie, commenting is working. All right, so I'm going to put you back up here again. Joey, say hi, because now you're photobombing. Wasabi people. See, look at this. I'm trying to balance them back on here. It's not happening. Shh. Ta-da! It happened! Okay, so now I'm going to mix it up. Well, it looks good. And later on, I will be back on to do the meatball pizza. I love the fat head crust. You guys loved it. What, Brett? The cilantro, I mean? What did you say before that? I don't see it. I'm going to mix this up here. It looks good. Now we're going to do some of our seasoning. It said hot paprika. I just have regular paprika, so we're going to put some of that in here. Hi, Sharon. And I've only ever eaten... Spanish rice at restaurants, so I'm curious to see how well I do. We're up to 67 people. What's up, people? I'm some cumin. I'm glad everyone loves this page, and everyone's been so wonderful. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hi, Gina. Um, you gave me some advice about this, but I already had the garlic and the onion in here, so she said to add the garlic last so it doesn't burn. She also said maybe some beef broth and chicken broth. I've seen that too, or bouillon cube. I'm going to try that next time. This time I'm going to try it like this and see what happens, but I appreciate your help and giving me pointers. So we have our paprika. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it really does. Our paprika in here, our cumin, and again, I don't have cilantro, but I, I figured a little bit of parsley is not going to hurt anything. Oh, I did. I pronounced, how do people say it? Cumin? Cumin? Common. <laughs> Let's put some parsley in here. Yay, Pam, you caught me live. Pam is another one. She's like my Katie. Hashtag replay Phillips. Pam doesn't say much, but she always wishes me good night. When I say good night, everyone, I hope you have a good night. Sleep well. So I appreciate that. Just like Katie and her hashtags, Pam, that's wonderful. Thank you. Wait, let me read some of this here because now I'm getting responses. Brett says, Katie's right on. The more flavor, the better. All right, guys. I love cauliflower rice. I can't wait to try this. We got this, Rose. Thank you, Karen. She, she loves the site. Cumin. Ellen's making fun of the way people say cumin. So, I, I think that's your basic call, your Spanish cauliflower rice. Am I wrong? Is that right? I never made it before. Someone give me some pointers. It looks good. It smells good. No idea what I'm serving it with. I can just eat it like this. I'm going to taste it because it really does smell good. You never know what it tastes like until you taste it. You want to tweak it and make it your own? Do it. Wow. I think it needs a little bit more cumin. That sauce, Gina was right on. That sauce helped a lot. I don't think I'm gonna add the tomato paste. It doesn't need it. She was right, it just need. What the hell was that? It just needs a little bit of um, 
sauce, and I only put two tablespoons of tomato sauce in here. I don't know what that noise is, but I'm going to beat whoever it is. I opened my tomato paste, and I'm not going to use it. It came out awesome. A little bit of salt and pepper. Turkey sausage links. I have, I have other sausage. I have, like, pork sausage. Thank you, Beth. A little bit of salt. The pink salt, I always overdo it, so I learned the hard way. Some pepper. Oh, you know what else? I just had a epiphany. Is that right? You put this on a plate and fry an egg and put it on top, you have a banging breakfast. Oh, I think that would be amazing. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow for breakfast. See how this stuff just comes to me? Let's take a minute and see who else said what here. It does look yummy. It is yummy, Cheryl. Do a chia herb garden in the windowsill. No dried herbs except oregano and bay leaves. We can try that, Brett. I think Avery would like that, too. So, guys, I, that was so simple. That was so simple. It was so easy. And I got nervous because I added a little bit of the chopped onion when we sauteed our garlic with the olive oil and the scallions, and then I forgot that the medley already had scallions in it, and I was nervous it was going to be overpowering, and it's not. It's, it's really not. Mmm. We did a great job, guys. That really is good. I'll paste the link. Yes, I did add cumin. I'll paste the link of the recipe I followed in the comments, but I'll also put what I did to tweak it. Really, really good. I'm proud of myself. I, I would love to do that with the chicken taquitos, which are in the videos. So that, that would be amazing. So thanks for suggesting it. I'm glad that we made it. Let's see who else says here. Yeah, the fried eggs, they sound amazing. Um, I have my meatballs in the crock pot, so I'm going to be back on later, and we're going to make our fathead meatball pizza. I did not show the recipe of how I do my meatballs because it's already in the video and I don't want to bore you and do the same things over. So definitely check the videos out for how I do my meatballs. Um, but I will come back and do the fathead crust. I know I've done the fathead pizza crust before with the chicken and Alfredo sauce. But I figure why the hell not we'll do it again. It's easy enough. So what's wrong with Spanish cauliflower rice and pizza for dinner? Holler! Tomorrow... I'm going to, bye Brett, love you. Tomorrow I'm going to do the coconut macaroons for my Katie. And I did get spaghetti squash because I love it with that cream sauce. That's in the videos. I've been craving that too. And I don't know what else we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to think about it because it's going to be a shitty day. I want to enjoy the rest of the day. I do, I do want to relax a little bit, finish the laundry, get some housework done. But Mexican pizza, Pam's on a roll. Sounds banging with eggs. What is it with me and eggs today? That Spanish, I just feel like that Spanish cauliflower rice would be amazing with a fried egg on it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll have it for breakfast tomorrow. And someone mentioned pancakes, so maybe I'll come on in the morning and do cream cheese pancakes. They're very simple. We'll see what happens. Ground chuck stuffed in a green pepper. It's a good idea, Michelle. It really is. I do the stuffed peppers, so that sounds awesome. So, guys, have a great rest of your Saturday. Like I said, it's beautiful here. All my bamboo plants and Joey's flowers. We're going to enjoy the day. Love yous all. Definitely try to make that rice. Give me a few minutes to clean up. I'm going to post the recipe in the comments and also how I tweaked it. So, thanks. Have a great day.